troubleshoot the four gateway issues. Addressing table. One router, two switches, four PCs. One router, two switches, four PCs. Verify network documentation and isolate problems. Verify the network documentation and isolate any problems. PC1 to PC2. Test is the ping. Okay, go to PC1. Desktop command prompt. Ping to PC2. This is PC2. 192.168.10.11. Ping. 192.168.10.11. Okay. Ping fails. And you need to recognize the issues. Uh, review the configuration of PC1. You can use this uh, configuration window or on command prompt use ipconfig. And you can see the IP address 192.168.11.10. Sublet so was 255.255.255.0 and verify on addressing table. And PC1 should have 192.168.10.10. So this should be 10.10. Subnet mask, OK. OK. The four gateway, 192.168.10.1. OK. First, modify this uh, IP address. Should be 10.10. Uh, IP address, subnet mask, and the four gateway. The full gateway is 101. 101 is the IP, the gigabit 00 on R1. Okay, gigabit 00 on R1. The full gateway of PC1. This is okay. Very good. And issue as IP address on PC1. Incorrect IP address on PC1. Solution change IP uh, change PC1 IP address according to the address in time. And verify now PC1 to PC2. Repeat the ping 192.168.10.11. Now, success. Success. Verify. Verify it. Okay, PC1 to S1. Okay. S1 IP address 192.168.10.2. Okay. 192.168.10.2. Ping 192.168.10.2. Enter. Success. Very good. Okay. Uh, successful. Yes. Issues, no issues. Solution, uh, no solution, verify it, yes, verify. Now, PC1 to R1. PC1 to R1. And the closest uh, gigabit interface to PC1 is gigabit 00. And gigabit 00 on R1 is 192.168.10.1. Ping 192.168.10.1. Success. Okay. Successful. Yes. Issue is no. Solution no. Verify it. Yes. And now from PC1 to, to Gigabit uh, 01 on router R1. 
Okay, what is the IP address of gigabit 01? It's 192.168.11.1. Ping 192.168.11.1. Okay, so what Success. Success. Successful, yes. Issue was uh, no. Solution, no. Verified, yes. Very good. And now from PC1, ping S2. What is the IP address of S2? 192.168.11.2. Ping 192.168.11.2. Enter. Okay, ping fails, ping fails. Uh, now, the configuration of PC1 is okay. It's fixed and now review the configuration on S2. Go to command line interface, enter, enable, um, privilege exec mode, show running config. Config, enter, space, space, space. You can see that the default gateway configured here, but interface belong one, no IP address, no IP address. Interface belong one on S2 should have the IP address 192.168.11.2, subnet mask 24 or 255, 255, 255, zero. So configure this space go to global configuration mode configure terminal or you are on global configuration mode access the interface vlan one interface vlan one enter and set the ip address ip address on i2168 11 to 255 255 255 zero and enable the interface with no shutdown command enter Okay, very good. And exit. Exit from exit from uh, interface configuration mode to global configuration mode. Okay. And now this is okay. And verify the default gateway 192.168.11.1. Okay. Uh, 192.168.11.2. is gigabit 01 on R1. Okay, this is gigabit 01 on R1, it's okay. The default gateway of S2 is gigabit 01 on R1, very good. Now go to PC1 and try again. P192.168.11.2, S2. Okay, and success, repeat. Okay, all uh, packets, all success, very good. So test from PC1 to S2. Successful, no. Issue as uh, S2 does not have an IP address on interface VLAN 1. Solution, set the IP address on S2 on interface VLAN 1, and enable the interface. Verify it, yes, works, very good. Now, from PC1, ping PC3. What is the IP address of PC3? 1110. Okay. Then repeat the command and modify 11.10, enter. Okay, success. Successful uh, test from PC1 to PC3. Successful, yes. Issue is no, solution no, verify it, verify it, yes. Very good. Now from PC1, ping PC4. What is the IP address of PC4? 11.11. So on PC1, 11.11.
Okay, uh, ping fails. Uh, configuration of PC1 is okay, so review the configuration of PC4. Desktop command prompt, IP config, okay, PC4. IP address 192.168.11.11. Uh, review the addressing table, 192.168.11.11. Very good. Subnet mask 255, 255, 255, 0. Okay, subnet mask, very good. Default network 192.168.11. Okay, uh, this is not okay. This is an error because the default gateway for PC4 is gigabit 01 on R1. And gigabit 01 on R1 is 192.168.11.1. So, this should be 192.168.11.1. So modify on IP configuration 11.1. Now it's very good. And uh, go to PC1 and try the ping again. 192.168.11.11 ping. Now success. Okay. Uh, test ping from PC1 to PC4. Successful no issue as uh, the default gateway on PC4 is incorrect. Solution, modify the default gateway on PC4 and verify it, yes, it works. And now, from PC4 or PC3, okay, ping, uh, uh, from PC3, ping S2, IP address of S2, 11.2, 182.168.11.2. Okay, success. Ping uh, gigabit 01 on R1, gigabit 01 on R1, 11.1. Okay, 11.1. Success. Okay. Uh, ping uh, gigabit zero zero on ping gigabit zero zero on R one. Uh, Ten one. Success. And ping from PC three ping S one. What is the IP address of S1? 10.2. Is failing and it's failing and ping fails. Okay, the IP configuration of PC3 is very good, so review the configuration of S1. Command line interface, enter, enable, show running config. Space, space, uh, interface VLAN 1, IP address 10.2. Okay, on S1, S1, 10.2, very good. Subnet mask, very good. Subnet mask, very good. And now the default gateway. Okay, space, configure terminal. Okay, uh, IP default gateway. For S1, the default gateway is gigabit 00 on R1. Gigabit 00 on R1. 192.168.10.1 Enter Okay, and from PC3, repeat the command to S1 uh, Repeat the ping to S1 10.2 Okay, success Test Ping from PC3 to S1. Su successful? No. Issue as 
uh, S1 does not have a uh, default gateway. Solution, set the default gateway on S1 and verify it, yes, works. Okay, completion 100%, thank you very much.